What's up traders, Zach here from The Trading Network. I hope you guys are doing well. It is a very special day today, as today is when we are finally officially rolling out the Trading Network Volatility Pack. Now, you guys, if you have been watching my videos for even a little bit of time, you have very likely seen these indicators used in my more recent scalping videos. So the Trading Network Volatility Package is something that is very simple, but it includes two very powerful tools. The Tools that are included are the PMARP, the Price Moving Average Ratio and Percentile, and the BBWP, the Bollinger Band with Percentile. Now, the PMARP is an extremely powerful tool that I typically use to help me determine high probability entries and exits, and I use that in combination with the BBWP and other tools in the Trading Network Proprietary Indicator Package to give me the highest probability trade opportunity. So as you guys can see here, we have a quick example of the BBWP down here and the PMARP on chart. So I'm sure these should look at least a little familiar to those of you guys who have been watching my content. So on the page here, we just have a bit of a description about both of the indicators and we have uh, two selections, one, for just one machine ID, which is just $379, and another selection, which is for two machine IDs for $479. So what this means is that this indicator will be locked to your specific machine ID. So if you guys, for example, have a laptop that you use to trade on when you travel, you can purchase the second option, which then gives you the ability to use the volatility pack on multiple machines. So that is something that we have added as well uh, as just an additional feature because I know myself, you know, I typically need multiple licenses for indicators that uh, require machine ID locking. And I know that that's helpful to a lot of folks that trade and travel at the same time. So uh, I'm going to get into Ninja Trader here shortly and show you guys some quick trade examples of how these indicators work and how I use them. With that said, you know, once you purchase the volatility pack, you will gain access to even more video content and trade examples on how I am using these indicators and how you can use them to increase your trade precision and probability as well. So uh, with that said, I will hop on over to Ninja. We'll check out some trade examples and I will show you how you can use the PMARP and the BBWP. Let's go. All right, so here we have Ninja Trader with the volatility package pulled up as well as some of the other indicators from the TTN Pro Trader bundle or the indicator package. And what I wanna show you guys is just a few examples of how I am using these tools in correlation with each other to find high probability trade opportunity. So one thing that I'll show you guys here is uh, a pretty decent little setup from a rejection of the 377 moving average uh, with a lower high put in with a uh, momentum oscillator, Z cubed confluence. This is the momentum oscillator that is in the proprietary indicator package, PMARP, as well as the BBWP. So you can see price comes up and it puts in a top around this 377 EMA. Now, sure, you could take a short here if you wanted to. Now, I would say that would be a little bit cavalier, but you do have some reasoning to take a short with good candlestick structure, good oscillator structure. You have the PMARP crossing the signal line to the downside at the same time that the BBWP is crossing the signal line to the downside as well. So this is a great high probability setup, but the BBWP is showing volatility contraction here. And typically the way that I use it is I more take advantage of the volatility expansion or the incoming volatility expansion, which I will show you very shortly here. So you can see when the BBWP is very low, the lower the BBWP is, the lower the number here, the more contracted volatility is. So price is like a rubber band. It contracts and it expands. And when the BBWP has a low read, that is telling us that the price or the market has contracted and when price is contracted it is likely to expand so it can only be contracted for so long before it expands and vice versa it can only be expanded for so long before it contracts this shows us when volatility is contracted and likely to expand and vice versa so you can see here here is a decent setup decent entry good candlestick structure you could pop a stop loss you know above the prior swing high here but here's even further confirmation and a setup that I like even more because we can use the BBWP and the PMARP even further. So you can see as price puts in this lower high right here, 
this technically the lower high is printed right here as this bar closes below the low of this but anywhere in my opinion in these two candles is prime entry area so you can see that at this point the momentum oscillators are already showing clear downside momentum especially with the slower oscillators uh, getting rejection from the fast oscillators at the same time that this lower high is being confirmed now you can see that we also have something very similar happening on the pmarp where the pmarp has crossed the signal line to the downside it comes back up and it retests and rejects the signal line using it as resistance now right around that same time volatility shown by the BBWP starts to contract and then the BBWP crosses the signal line to the upside showing a high probability that volatility is likely to expand and boom we get that expansion so we have the break below the moving averages we have the confirmation of the lower high with the local top with the moving averages with the PMARP and the BBWP all in confluence with each other and price moves swiftly down to this major level now after that that brings me to another setup example so this is basically a back-to-back back-to-back trades where you could utilize all of these tools for high probability setups so you can see here price comes down to fibonacci pivot point puts in a bit of bullish divergence. You can see the divergence is indeed confirmed on the Z cubed oscillators up top here. It is also confirmed on the PMARP as well. And even though I don't use BBWP for divergence typically, it is also divergent there as well. Now you can see that price dips below the pivot point. And if we look at BBWP, the volatility is not quite ready to expand yet. It is almost there. But here where we have another higher low get confirmed, here's the first low. Here's another low, and then here's a higher low back above pivot point. You can see on the same exact candle that confirms that higher low above pivot point, the BBWP is curling and crossing to the upside once again, signaling expansion. Now, I want to make it clear that this oscillator is a bit different than the other two as this does not signify direction. So you can see here that this first example, BBWP showing expansion, crossing the signal line to the upside, we get downwards volatility expansion and here we get upwards volatility expansion on the same signal so this is purely showing contraction and expansion this is not a momentum oscillator this is a volatility oscillator and it is a powerful one at that so i hope that you know you guys can see here that on these signals they typically get great reaction now it's not perfect you won't see it every time but if you go and you back test this in combination and in correlation with our other tools, major levels, market profile levels, things of that nature, they really do present amazing opportunity, okay? So here's another example here, moving averages, uh, I'm sorry, momentum oscillators curling and crossing to the downside, PMARP crossing the signal line to the downside at the same time we're getting a local top and a rejection off the moving averages, very similar structure as we got over here. And at the same time, in this case, we are seeing volatility contraction. So if volatility has expanded and you see BBWP curling and crossing to the downside, you can also use that as a signal to say, okay, well, I'm going to play this contraction back in the opposite direction. And once again, you have great confluence, BBWP crossing to the downside, PMARP crossing the signal line and rejecting the signal line as resistance, and the Z cubed momentum oscillators showing downside pressure as well with beautiful oscillator structure there. So you guys can start to see the pattern here. Boom, once again, we got another great bullish divergence here. Bull div on the Stokes, the Z cubed, bullish divergence on the PMARP, and then what do you know, we've get that we get actually two expansions in volatility. So the initial one right here is a break below the pivot point, right? But if you look at the same time, the oscillators aren't super conclusive by any means. Now, if you just wait a handful of candles later, where we start to put in this low, you can see the momentum oscillators start to curl and cross to the upside. The PMARP has then crossed the signal line to the upside and began making higher lows as well. And we get this move where the BBWP slowly resets for another expansion and we get that cross to the upside right here. Once again, not perfect, but from this cross of the BBWP here, you get a beautiful move. Let's see, what is that? 600. So that's about a 15 point move. And then from this next cross here, 608, you basically get a move up to another 10 point move. 
another upside cross here. Perhaps, you know, if you're taking this signal as well, then your probability is lower because look, your confluence is not there, right? The oscillators don't look great. But if you use these tools together, if you use all of these tools together, which is what they are meant for, that's where your probability is. No one oscillator is going to be perfect where it gives you, you know, banger signals every single time. It's using these tools in combination with one another. The oscillators are really ugly here. So if you're taking the BBWP cross to the upside, you might not have, or you're likely to not have as great of results as if you wait for other confluences. So using the BBWP and the PMARP, and candlestick structure and major levels and these Z cubed oscillators, you know, and, and other tools that we use as well. All of those things together just adds further pieces to the puzzle and extra checkboxes of confluence, which of course increase the probability of your trade. So you guys can see here, you know, once again, when you have everything in confluence with each other, that is when, you know, the best setups present themselves. Once again, you know, this is nothing crazy right? But you get the cross up and you have a move down here. You have another cross up and you've got a really nice move to the upside. Same thing. PMARP crossing the signal line to the upside, using the signal line as support at the same time that the momentum oscillators are curling and crossing to the upside. Price putting in local lows, higher lows, etc. Uh, we've got some bearish divergence here. I said I was going to do a few examples, but I just wanted to show you guys, you know, how well this works and how much opportunity there truly is using these tools. So, Bearish divergence right around VWAP. We've got the local top. We've got div on the Z cube. We've got divergence on the PMARP. Once again, PMARP crosses the signal line to the downside, then rejects the signal line once again, confirming as resistance after BBWP has crossed to the downside, showing a likely contraction. So here's our expansion in volatility. After an expansion to the upside, what are we likely to have contraction-wise? Contraction in the opposite direction to the downside. And here is your pullback from this bear div, this contraction signal, and the crosses to the downside and the rejection of the signal line on PMARP. So a lot of good setups, a lot of good confluence. I could do this all day. And if you guys buy these tools, you can go and back test them on the shelf and build confidence with these tools and use them in the live markets. So I hope that this has been a helpful video for you guys. I hope that you understand how powerful these tools truly can be, especially in combination with some other confluence factors. Uh, but generally speaking, you know, volatility indicators are less common used these days. And I think that uh, that's a mistake. You know, you really need to understand where volatility is in relation to the market. That's a big piece of context. So if you don't have a volatility tool or volatility tools, momentum tools, um, then you're very likely missing a piece to the puzzle that can help further remove guesswork and build further confidence and increase the probability of your trading. So with that said, if you guys have any questions about the volatility package, BBWP or PMARP, how I'm using them, etc., please feel free to drop any questions down in the comments below. You can also email us at info at the trading network .io. If you guys want to purchase the volatility package, it is live right now. So please click the link down in the description below. It is the trading network.io slash P slash volley pack V O L L Y P A C K. And you guys can get access to that immediately right now. As soon as you purchase, you will get access to the indicators and one free week trial to our discord. If you're not already a member, if you are, all you have to do uh, is join the discord and open up a ticket, drop us your machine ID, and we will give you access to those indicators and you will be on your way. So thank you guys very much for supporting the trading network overall. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you guys enjoy the volatility pack and it helps you on your trading journey. And I look forward to seeing some great feedback very soon. So with that said, guys, if you want to learn more about what we do at the trading network, please check out the rest of our website at thetradingnetwork.io, where you can also purchase access to our most popular offering, the TTN Pro Trader Bundle, where you can add the volatility package as an add-on to the bundle. In the bundle, you will receive access to our Discord for life, where we live stream our trading Monday through Friday starting at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. You will also gain access to the TTN proprietary indicator package, as well as the fundamentals of futures trading course, where we teach multiple strategies for varying market conditions. In addition to the pro trader bundle and everything I listed, we also offer one-on-one -on -one trader mentorship as a more tailored and catered experience to your strengths and weaknesses as a trader. If you have any questions about anything I've discussed in this video or anything on our website, 
please feel free to shoot us an email at info at the trading network.io. You can also drop a comment down below or shoot us a DM on Instagram and we will get back to you as soon as possible and help any way that we can. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Much love.